Okay, so once you've downloaded your music, just make sure that it's in your music folder. Otherwise, you may have issues later on when you're trying to export. So with the music that I just downloaded from Hook Sounds, it comes in a zip folder. So to unzip them, just double click. And you'll notice that in the folder, it has a little README. And that just explains how to credit the music when you do use it. With all the music from Hook Sounds, all you really need to do is put the name of the track and then when you do credit the artist, you, the artist is Hook Sounds. And then you just quote that it's a Creative Commons license. Let's just preview some of these pieces of music and see which one would work best in our project. I think I'll use this track. So to use it all you need to do is click and drag it into your timeline and it will import the whole thing and all you need to do is split at playhead like we did last time and then you can just delete the second part because we'll only need a little bit. So what I'm going to teach you to do now is to fade two pieces of music together. So you're just going to make sure that automation's on. So the shortcut for automation was A so I've turned it off and press A to turn it on again. So all I want to do is create a keyframe here and here and then just fade it in slowly. And you may need to create another keyframe just to make sure that it does start at zero. And then we do want to fade it out again. Okay, so we're just going to play it back and make sure that the levels aren't too high. Welcome to this podcast. I'm going to teach you how to use GarageBand so that you can make your own podcast. Okay, so I already see that it's fading in way too early. So what I'm going to do is just move that a bit further back so it's in line with the other track. And just play it back. And I'm noticing that I'm getting these red bars at the top, so that means that it is too loud. So I'm just going to move the maximum sound a bit further down, just so it's not so loud. Okay, and now, now I'm just going to play the whole thing back, just to double check. Welcome to this podcast. I'm going to teach you how to use GarageBand so that you can make your own podcast. Great, so I've just shown you how to fade two pieces of audio together. So you do need to just play around a bit and make sure that the audio levels are correct. If you do notice that one piece of audio is a lot louder than the other, just make sure that you turn down the levels using the automation feature to make sure that the levels are pretty consistent throughout the whole piece. This may be difficult if you've got a lot of audio pieces that you're putting together. It is a lot easier when you do have one piece of audio from someone talking because most of the time the levels will be the same and all you need to do is adjust it once. So I just suggest that you make sure the audio levels are good before you do any cutting because now I can in adjust these audio levels independently.
So that's good if I do have loud bits of audio and I just need to turn them down. Um, but it'll be very frustrating if you need to turn all the audio up. You'll have to do it for every single clip.